Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, June 16th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a great afternoon and evening yesterday and ready for another wild day, and it could really be a wild day. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Yesterday, we continued to just surge to the upside with big point moves and a big stretch in the tech sector. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, before we get going on the charts, I want to remind everyone that there is a, uh, what they call a quadruple witching day today, um, because it also includes um, quarterly options and it, it includes uh, futures options. And this is an interesting story out of Bloomberg. Um, 4.2 trillion options will expire today. And it is 20% larger than it was one year ago. So that just shows you the explosion in the option industry and how much volatility can be created in the um, options market uh, based on that. Um, there is such a a big build in the option industry where everyone's rushing into that industry and it's creating a whole new environment in the um, options world where we're getting quite a bit more uh, volatility. There's this um, uh, big younger group of folks that have come to trading that are all about the quick intraday and really uh, fast speculative trading and that's having major impacts across the market so kind of keep that in mind we could see a very um, volatile day of price action where we get these unusual price moves so um, as you're planning your day make sure you're thinking carefully about that and then also um, thinking about the fact that we have a three-day weekend coming up. I know this is um, one of those new holidays that's hard to remember. Um, but um, we have a th uh, mo the market will be closed on Monday. So as you're planning forward, just make sure you've got um, all of those things considered going into this long weekend. Let's take a look at the diamonds here. The diamonds, we have been... Um, fighting this resistance here for some time. And when I say for some time, if you look over here, last time we were above this area, and you can see this was a filled area here, but the last time we were up above that area was April of 2022. So this is a big breakout. And I wanna point out that we've done this before where we've broken um, that level and then completely failed. So we want to be watching carefully when we break these resistance levels in the charts. We want to be watching that carefully for that potential, that possibility that we get a little bit exuberant. We get excited that, hey, everything is bullish now. And then we end up with that reversal. And unfortunately, we've already got a little bit of a pullback here in the pre-market here on the diamond so watch that carefully if we were to fail back below there and as we look at the other indexes you'll see that there may be a reason um, why that could occur now also if you look at the diamonds um, uh, pattern here if i were to make this a weekly it it'll be much more easier to see but this is could be an absolutely massive inverted head and shoulders pattern here on the diamonds if there is enough bullish energy in here to push us through that resistance area and hold us as support that may change everything here in the market where we get um, uh, this index moving um, in concert with the spy and the qqq right now diamonds is lagged behind and iwm continues 
to lag behind. So we'll, um, we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. Now it has been, um, without question, there's lots of reports on this, it has been just um, a handful of stocks. They're, they're saying about 10 stocks are accounting for about a 100% of the gain of the S&P 500. Now what that means is we have a tremendous um, off balance going on with um, giant tech um, and the, the massive weighting that they have in those um, indexes to move the market up. Now, what that means is what happens if that massive um, weighting um, starts to shift? If it were to shift to the downside, you can imagine what could, um, how quickly those indexes could change and how dramatically they could move to the downside if that shift were to occur. And I'm not saying it will, I'm just saying we need to be paying attention to that. Now, if we take a look at our index here, if we um, see um, the bulls continue to find inspiration today, notice breaking through this, I'm not gonna turn this green until we break through and prove to hold. Next resistance level would be right up here where we've tested before those areas what I that I pointed out before. Testing here and maybe testing here if we can push on through in the diamonds today. Now, if the bears find inspiration, I'm gonna point out the pullback into this area here for price support. If we can hold that area, then it'll be no problem here, um, no concern. But if that were to fail, I want you to notice just how far we have to fall to a substantial resistance area in the chart. And that could be a rather painful pullback if um, that were to occur today. And if we miss on that, then we go substantially lower still. So this is a pretty big extension in the market, a very exuberant move. And particularly when we see so much data out there on the economy that's just not strong. So um, kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, extremely exuberant move, very parabolic um, in this, the stature here of our um, SPY. And we are pushed up here where that, that um, high point that I told you yesterday, that would be the next test of resistance. We got up there today, or excuse me, yesterday, and now we're seeing just a little pullback here in the pre-market. Um, this is a very, very extended move to the upside. If you place another trend line up here, you can see how parabolic that move is um, in that upside move. So we can't rule out the possibility of a pullback, but if we can remain that excited and exuberant today, um, if we can get past all of the options gyrations, and that might be one of the reasons why we could surge uh, to the upside as well, then I would look for the next resistance level in the chart would be right up here someplace at um, at about uh, four four fifty, um, right in there at that forty five hundred level on the spy. So watch that closely, and that is a fairly significant resistance. Um, and with the parabolic move here, um, we have to be expecting a pullback at any time. If the pullback does occur today or begins today, we do have a little tiny bit of price support right there. If you'll notice where we had a little rest. Um, in that move, a little tiny bit of price support there. But of course, if that were to move, if we move past that, then I would suggest we come down into here and then the next level would be below that right in here on the chart on the SPY. If we take a look at our QQQ, extremely extended here. Uh, once again, if we draw a trend line on this move, very parabolic in, um, in that stance. Uh, remember, at some point in time, all the money that's going to be in is in. Um, if you're like me, I'm not chasing anything long right now because it's so overextended. I do not want to be in that chase. So I'm watching carefully for um, clues of that pullback and um, may actually be thinking about some short positions um, from this extended extended place today 
um, heading into next week, expecting that pullback. Now, looking at this resistance level in the chart, I moved this line up. This is a very significant level of price resistance in the chart. So we'll want to be watching that closely. If we can push beyond that, you can see the next levels up here are right into that area of the chart up there around 380. So watch carefully if we do stretch on through with this exuberance in the market. This And it really is a flat out chase um, in the market. It's a hurry up, um, I'm going to miss out kind of trade going on. If the bears find inspiration today, well, I want you to notice there really isn't any price support underneath this until we fall all the way back down here into um, that little support in the chart. So we'll want to be keeping a close eye on that. That could be a very painful pullback if those big tech giants start to find some selling. And you can imagine if they do start to find some selling, there'll be a quick pile on with everyone just trying to get out of the way to protect the capital that um, has just been you know, racing in, into those stocks. If we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM um, showing us still a little bit of concern here. IWM certainly broke through some resistance here in the chart and stretched up here pretty strongly. Um, and we're getting a little bit of resting consolidation. So you can see if we were to go up from here, that's a very parabolic uh, trend to the upside. Certainly possible the way the market's been acting, but at the same time, this is a large, large resistance area in the chart. We'll want to watch that carefully here. Pushing back up yesterday um, off of that bearish engulfing on Friday, a lot more uncertainty here in IWM to be watching for. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX which is interesting on that big surge to the upside yesterday, we saw fear coming up here in the market. So is that a hint? Is that a clue? The last big surge that we had in the market was right there. And we also saw fear coming into the market. So are we, could we possibly be seeing institutions now beginning to sell to the retail traders that are chasing? They're starting to unload and, um, and selling to retail that just can't seem to buy enough or chase it fast enough. I don't know if that's the case, but this is concerning to me, the fact that we surged so hard yesterday with such a strong move, and yet the VIX rallied to the upside. So watch that carefully. If the, uh, the bears were to come into play here, um, keeping in mind that we could break through this little resistance right in here, and move up into these levels pretty easily. And one of the things that could make that um, pretty substantial is this quadruple witching going on in the option industry and $4.2 trillion in options expiring today. That's gonna create an awful lot of potential volatility. So watch carefully there as that, uh, if that occurs. And then of course, if the bulls continue to find inspiration and really start pushing and that fear drops, well, we could drop down here into those 13 handles here again on uh, um, on the VIX. And just keeping in mind, that is starting to reach a pretty extreme complacency position in the market. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122 pressed right back up yesterday. We, were, we pushed down. So here again, we're lingering up here in this area. And the longer we linger and the longer we stretch, my guess is the harder and the more shocking the pullback will be when it occurs. So keeping that in mind, we're stretching back up. Um, we're running out of upside um, opportunity here pretty quickly um, on yesterday's uh, big move. So let's kind of keep, um, if the bulls find inspiration, well, we've got a little bit of upside that could occur in there but we have a big downside opportunity that has opened up here. So just be watchful for that. We can stay extended here for a period of time. We've seen it before, but usually when that snaps or breaks, it comes down hard and it comes down hard because everyone it will be running for the door at the same time trying to protect profit. Let's take a look at our 
T2108 or T2108 also extended up where it struggled for a long time during the day turning to the positive. It was interesting. Um, as we were up uh, 300 points, um, T2108 was still lower on the day. So it was right there at that last surge up where we turned this to the upside. About 65% of the stocks um, above their 40-day uh, moving average. And remember, we are in that that area where that exuberant um, nature of the market we've stretched so far and we can stretch further but just keeping in mind that we're already in that kind of very very stretched position here um, in the market if we take a look at our t2107 same thing is true it was close to the end of the day that that really came out of new lows and started started to stretch to the upside so 51 uh, and a quarter percent of the stocks above their um, 200 day moving average. And that's a good sign here for the market. If we can get the Russell particularly to start picking up, we need that one to start picking up. Remember, it's the biggest index and it is showing the most weakness here in the market. So we need that to really start picking up and driving these numbers higher. But keeping in mind, anywhere between 50 and about 65, this is a very, very frothy um, situation here um, in the market. If we take a look at our T2101, well, it continued to show that momentum to the upside extending. We didn't hook at all. So one of the things that I look for in T2101 is I want to see that breadth kind of running out. And we didn't get that yesterday in this move. So I actually, fingers crossed, I'm hoping for a gap up or a stretch today to the upside to set up pretty good, um, I think, short trades on the indexes. But watch this carefully if we begin to hook and we start to see that bit of uncertainty coming in to the market heading into that three-day weekend. Let's take a look at our um, um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, unfortunately, doesn't have a whole lot to really provide tons of inspiration. Um, we've got uh, consumer sentiment in here to be paying attention to. So uh, that's about it. And then we've got the Baker Hughes rig count, which uh, I don't think anybody's gonna care uh, about. Um, so watch watch that carefully here about 10 a.m. That could provide a little surge, a little inspiration for the bulls or the bears, depending on how that number comes in. And that's about it for today because on the earnings calendar, there are no, um, um, no confirmed earnings for today. So we don't have the inspiration of earnings. We don't have um, um, a, a lot of things to help us out here on that move. We do have to remember that um, um, Asian markets have not had the wild bullishness that we have been seeing here in the market, which has been interesting. Asian markets have been much more subdu subdued because of their economic issues over there. And we've even seen European markets have a much more subdued um, um, activity in the market while the U.S. is just ragingly bullish. So we'll want to be kind of careful with that if we see, um, see um, that we've overextended here. Now, I will say that Asian markets last night had a good upside move um, across the board green on the Asian markets and European markets uh, kind of shaking off the ECB rate hike and, and by the way, future heights that they are expecting. Um, um, they're uh, nice and green here today trying to catch up to the U.S. market uh, bullishness. So perhaps it follows through to the upside. We'll see. Um, so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe number or subscribe button on um, YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find this video to be useful or helpful to you, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. I apologize. I kind 
kind of got into teaching yesterday um, a little bit more than normal and um, kind of did a long stretch of education for the members of RWO yesterday from market open until um, 1 p.m. Eastern um, straight through. So I didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday. I do apologize, but I will be back on task this morning. So let's take a look at... Um, some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you're following your personal trading rules your personal risk tolerance rules because today could be one of those really strange days as a matter of fact when i was learning to trade uh, my old mentor and this was 30 years ago said um, quadruple witching or triple witching days was a really good day to shut off your computer and go do something else. It was not the best day to be trading. Now, the market has changed a lot since then, but I still hold that attitude. It's, it's one of those days to be extra cautious and extra careful. Um, a chart that I thought was looking really, really good yesterday, um, SQ popping up here, holding price support. I really considered heavily buying that yesterday. I chose not to just because of the long weekend, uh, the, uh, the volatility that we could see in the options. But I do think this is setting up. If this were to rest in this area right in here, or even pop through and then pull back over into here, I think next week um, SQ might be something on the list for me to be paying attention to, like that chart. If you take a look at Eli Lilly, Eli Lilly, as you guys know, I was mentioning this this week as a possible break and popped right through that resistance in the chart moving on up. This is blue sky above in Eli Lilly. They just can't seem to do anything wrong in the market right now. They are hot as uh, all get out with their um, obesity drugs and Alzheimer drugs, um, just really, um, really knocking the ball out of the park here. So keep an eye on that. I keep mentioning um, online gambling here. DKNG has pulled back to this support. Looked like it was about ready to go, um, but there's nothing bearish about this chart yet. I would still be keeping an eye on this for that possibility of that push through to the upside. Watch that closely. In the, in the energy sector, we had such a um, substantial fall in the U.S. dollar yesterday. Again, when we don't raise rates and other countries continuing to raise rates, that will likely weaken the dollar. And um, pulling back pretty substantially here yesterday had uh, quite an effect on the oil sector yesterday, pushing things up. Now, this is XLE. It's a... Um, uh, uh, an ETF on um, energy, but you can see in here we've broken that downtrend and we've been kind of consolidating in a wide area here, consolidating this move. So where is the beginning of the upside trend? It will be if we can find those buyers in here somewhere and start pushing that out. And I would keep an eye on stocks out there because there's quite a few stocks out there that are showing that sign that we're picking back up. You'll notice this upside trend. It's been a little bit flat in that move. There's the downside break here in that chart. We're holding support levels. I would be watching for that next move to the upside on some of these oil sector stocks. Another place that um, I personally have a position in, um, that big move yesterday, breaking through resistance here, and that is in natural gas. A uh, big pop to the upside. Now, we're nowhere near being out of the woods here on this. So please keep in mind, I'm not suggesting you should rush directly into this. And the reason I say that is we have a, a very big resistance here in the chart that we struggled with before. So um, what I'll be watching for is the next higher low, meaning that if we were to rest and pull back here, I, that's the trade I want. Or if we were to stretch on higher and break out and then rest and pull back. That's the trade I want. So I'll be watching to add to this position if that can hold on. It'd be very, very similar to what I did a um, little over uh, two years ago. Well, almost two years ago, right here where we break the downtrend, 
my entry into the um, UNG was in here and extremely profitable trade to the upside. So watch that carefully. And uh, There's no way we're going to be ending the use of natural gas. It's just not going to happen. And so uh, at least in the short term, so watch that carefully here. Um, all kinds of opportunities could be setting up here in the natural gas arena. Um, let's take a look at a few other places here in the market that are pretty interesting. Um, we're seeing a big recovery here in some of the drug makers. They had sold off so strongly um, here for a while. J&J, uh, &J, nice recovery. It needs a rest or consolidation after breaking through this resistance. I think any kind of rest or consolidation in, in this range would maybe set up that opportunity to the upside. Also um, seeing Pfizer getting a nice recovery here. This was, boy, talk about beat down. Um, really beat down, finding some um, resistance right here that's challenging it, it's trying to break through. If it can, I would be watching for that next opportunity in um, stocks like uh, Pfizer. Let's take a look at General Electric. General Electric. Um, sliding out here sideways a little bit more than I think a lot of people would hope for. They want to see when we start rallying strongly, they want to just see stocks go straight up. But taking a look at GE in this trend, I think this consolidating rest in here is very, very bullish and setting up for that upside move to the uh, to the upside. So kind of keep that in mind. Looking pretty good there. There are charts out there that are certainly not looking good. Uh, stocks like KHC. KHC set up for a potential short in my opinion. We've rallied back to a resistance. Our downtrend is still in play. So if you're more inclined to be thinking short uh, today then look at KHC. So with that, guys, I'm running out of time here this morning. There is no blog this morning, kind of, uh, you know, with no earnings and really not much on the economic calendar to talk about. So I spent a little bit more time discussing the chart set um, setups in the indexes, and hopefully um, that's useful to you. Thank you so much, everyone. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and a wonderful three-day weekend. We'll see you back here bright and early Tuesday morning next week. Wish you all the best.